Hey my friends, welcome to the Vitruvian Life. Today is Monday, October 21st. One more day working and then I go to Spiel, Essen Spiel, which is the biggest convention, board game convention in Europe and maybe the biggest in the world. There are discussions about that, but who cares? It is very large, that's for sure. So I'm going there which is pretty awesome, I'm looking forward to it, uh, finally, always wait a year for it to happen again, uh, and of course I'm in full preparation of Spiel. Now before I talk about my preparation, I will be there, um, and let me take my preparation, so I'm going to show you a little bit how I prepared this, I might not be the most professional uh, preparer, <laughs> it's not a word, um, anyway, um, but I do have the schedule of demoing, so if you want to see me at Portal Games then I will be there at th on Thursday from 10 to 2 on Friday, let's see, Friday from 2 to 6 in the afternoon and on Saturday I am on duty again from 2 to 6. Other hours I will be roaming around uh, fighting against my introvert nature and uh, trying to buy everything and pick up everything I need and hope to meet some of you folks as well and talk with friends and maybe play a game or two. Uh, I never play a lot of games at Spiel, that's for sure, which is too sad. So I'm preparing, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to pack my luggage this evening already. Normally I do it the evening before, uh, but I have to go to the dentist tomorrow after work and I still need to go to the hairdresser, uh, which I wanted to do last week, uh, Saturday, but problem is there are two people I would uh, in that hairdress, in that saloon that cut my hair good and the others, well, <laughs> uh, I have had mixed results there. Uh, so I went there Saturday, just passed by to see who was there, weren't the right people and also today I tried again and again it was not the right person there. So I hope tomorrow uh, I will be more lucky and my hair will be decent because to, uh, the way it is now I don't want to go, but I will uh, still go, but anyway. Uh, so that's something I will do tonight. I already put all my games that I sold in uh, boxes and here on the table I still have to figure puzzle it inside of the car's trunk that's what will be something for tomorrow evening I think it's going to be a challenge folks uh, I think it's about 30 games and I thought it would be not that much but it is a lot of things uh, to get inside that car and then to get inside the convention hall um, so yeah that's going to take some planning uh, Besides that, if you're looking for me, by the way, uh, I will mostly, I think, be wearing this vest here with my logo on. So if you see my back here, <laughs> then I should be very recognizable. The front is, has also the logo on it. You might have seen it before on the channel. Uh, if it's really hot in the halls, which normally it it can be hot, but if you have to walk in between halls, it might be colder. So I might be wearing a t-shirt like that, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to change camera position and I'm going to show you my preparation here, uh, how I organized everything for well, the five days of spill, six days if I count uh, Wednesday as well. So let's go here and let's check my spill 2019 map. Okay, so this is my map, just uh, one of those uh, easy to use maps. Well, easy. They, there are easier ones to use. I used to have a, a Toma book, you might know, with the plastic maps that are already inside it with a ring here. But sadly enough, that one, well, it was still from in my, uh, in, when I went to school, so that didn't survive the test of time anymore. So since last year I'm using this one, so I have a cover. I'm not going to show you my um, uh, phone number here, but I also put here that this belongs to me. And uh, if someone finds this, if I should lose it and someone finds it, finds it, then they can call me to save, well, my, my spiel. If it's, well, there's not 
you will see there is money inside of this but not too much this time uh, last year I had uh, way more here but so that's okay uh, so first I have the hall plans here with me uh, this ones I took from uh, board game geek so it has every hall with the names of the publishers in the boots uh, you can also use um, tabletop together site to print out and the cool thing about that one is that it will color your wanted list uh, in different shades depending on how high your priority is the downside I found was they don't have the names in it. And I could add it as well, but I think I'm going to keep it like this. Maybe I will tomorrow or something, I will uh, use a marker to indicate where I have to grab my pre-orders, but we'll see, we'll see about that. So for every haul, there is some, an overview. As you can see, <laughs> there's a, a lot of convention again this year. And this is the, the Galleria, the one in the, the big long hallway. Uh, oh, and apparently I got this one twice. I, I put it here again. <laughs> that was not a meaning. But I have my demo roster here. So this is from uh, this is a file that uh, Portal Games send us. Um, purple means Pret a Porter, and this bluish thing here is uh, Empires of the North. And there will be a little bit of demoing of uh, the the Roll and Ride of Imperial Settlers. I will be demoing Pret a Porter twice, and one time I'm going to teach. Uh, people empires of the north. I'm a little bit nervous about pret a -Porter, I must I must admit um, I own the first edition or the second edition actually it is uh, I've played it a couple of times, but it has been a while and I haven't seen the the new game yet in real life So I'm curious to see if I and it's a heavier game to teach so I'm not I'm not best in teaching heavy games this is my overview of the games that I sold, where uh, who I sold it to, where I we are meeting, and their phone number if they gave me one. These are the games uh, I bought in the auction, again with the same uh, information, and games that I pre-ordered are there as well, uh, including one game that I couldn't pre-order, there was no pre-order, but I really... this high on my want list and talking about the want list this i did this with tabletop together so you can give them different uh priorities these are my want games and as you can see for example the awkward guests uh, i bid for an auction but i got overbid after uh, in the end so uh, it says everything here and it also says that i have uh, it's on my want list i pre-ordered and i prepaid it so i can just pick it up I'm um, not sure, uh, is there a... Uh... Oh, now I just realized there is... Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, there is the, the boot number, so I might mark that as well. So, uh, this is my one list. Okay, these games I don't have to look for because of course I know where they are because I will be demoing uh, them. <laughs> so that's uh, funny. And we have Super Gas here, that's pre-ordered. Then we have like, so it's one level lower. Um, we have 10 days in Europe. Bloomtown, which I did pre-order. Uh, Bumuntu, or yeah, Bumuntu, which I hope will be there uh, in English as well. Uh, pre-orders Cat Cafe, the Abyss card game thing I like. I just want to see Detective City of Angels because I backed it on Kickstarter. Uh, draw your own conclusion. Looks like a fun, just one-ish, uh, but a game with a drawing because I was too late for pre-ordering it so I guess I think I'm going to buy it uh, in the end Everdell expansions want to see what they do King Domino Duel I pre-ordered that Obscurio um, still doubting about this one it is kind of like Dixit with a traitor um, not sure how I like traitor uh, games with a traitor but we'll see Ocean Crisis I I pre-ordered it after reading a designer diary, which uh, was very cool to read. Um, a new expansion for Shards of Infinity is there, so you've been eaten. It's a 0-2 to two player game, actually. <laughs> uh, Sproutopolis, I pre-ordered that one. Castle Burgundy, I want to see it in real life before I get it. And uh, Walking in Province, I pre-ordered it, but I didn't pay for it yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to take it with me. Uh, under underground, another Louis Creations game looks pretty cool. Paris, uh, New Eden. That's that's going to be my biggest doubt game. This one I pre-ordered as well. The Pauper's Ladder, Pharaoh. Also was too late to pre-order it. 
I think I will get this because of the Egyptian team and I, I, I do know it might speak to some people. Porto is in the list because it is uh, designed by a Belgian guy. Uh, a goodie box for Rias of the Ganges. Road West look pretty cool as well. So that's the most important games here. Then I get my pre-orders here. I'm not going to show you too much of it, but I just uh, printed every one of them. There is even one that I still have to pay and I put the money in one of the bags that comes with games so I can just pay them without any hassle. Um, this, by the way, is my pre-order for well, my order for Walk the Halls for charity, which of course I backed or I ordered so I can walk around my auctions. So every person that is uh, that every game that I sell in uh, buy in the auction has also the right amount of money, as you can see, which is very easy to, uh, if you have to be quick because most of them will be at the boot when I'm demoing, so it has to go really quick. Here I will still make a paper for uh, social networking or networking, so if people give me uh, flyers or name uh, cards or whatever, I can put them uh, in the back. So that's how I do my map here. Uh, so yeah, that's how I do it. Uh, so I, maybe it you might learn a little bit from this. Maybe you have some tips for me. Let them, it might not be for this year. I'm prepared in this, uh, with this map, but let me know how you prepare. In the, let me know in the comments below, how far do you go in preparing, uh, going on, uh, uh, going to a convention? I've seen, I've seen people do way more crazy than this folks. Really, I have seen <laughs> maps that go to infinity and beyond. That's for sure. So let me know if you're going to spiel, please, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if you're demoing there, let me know where you are. So maybe I, I can say hi. And as I said, if you come by uh, the portal boot and I am there with my badge and the badge that I'm wearing, yes, curdy on it. Please, please say hi. Even if it's a short while, I might be explaining a game, so I might not have time for it, but uh, even just a hi, can brighten up any person's day right so yeah that's about it folks thank you for watching this will be the last episode before i go am back from spiel so uh you might not see that much of me next days i probably post some stuff on uh, social media on facebook instagram and twitter but the youtube channel it will be a little bit more quiet but hey i'm going to a great place folks See you soon. If you're going to spill, have fun and say hi. And well, see you soon.